Long-term athlete development stages for gymnasts. Stage 1. Active start. Children at this stage must participate in physical activity that promotes the development of fitness and movement skills for 60 minutes every day. They will develop basic gross motor skills in coordination with the larger muscle groups through unstructured activities. They will develop basic movement skills such as running, jumping, and throwing that form their foundation for physical literacy. For gymnasts in this stage, they will develop agility, balance, and coordination, as well as strength and flexibility. They will be introduced to space and body awareness and will develop gross motor skills. A sample training plan for a gymnast at this stage would be as follows. Day 1, 60 minutes of recreational gymnastics. Day 2, 60 minutes of swimming. Day 3, 60 minutes of skating. Day 4, 60 minutes of soccer. Day 5, 60 minutes of recreational play at a playground. Day 6, 60 minutes of recreational gymnastics. Day 7, 16 minutes of recreational play at a playground. Stage 2. Fundamentals. Children at this stage must participate in 180 minutes of physical activity per day, including 60 minutes of vi vigorous physical activity. Children should repeat skills to test their abilities and build confidence. They will improve their fundamental movement skills and athleticism in multiple different environments. They will participate in structured and unstructured play with some instruction. Gymnasts at this stage will continue to develop agility, balance, coordination, as well as strength, control of posture, core strength, and flexibility. They will start to work on basic gymnastic skills and will be introduced to developing power, endurance, and speed. A sample training plan for a gymnast at this stage would be as follows. Day 1, one and a half hours of gymnastics and one and a half hours of recreational play. Day 2, one and a half hours of swimming and one and a half hours of recreational play. Day 3, two hours of soccer and one hour of recreational play. Day 4, one and a half hours of gymnastics and one and a half hours of recreational play. Day 5, 2 hours of skating and 1 hour of recreational play. Day 6, 1 and a half hours of gymnastics and 1 and a half hours of recreational play. Day 7, 1 and a half hours of skating and 2 hours of recreational play. Stage 3, Learn to Train. Children in this stage must participate in 60 minutes of moderate to vigorous physical activity every day. They will begin competition in sports and improve coordination and fine motor control. They will continue to participate in multiple sports, including unstructured play. Gymnasts at this stage will focus on correct technique and continue to develop strength, flexibility, agility, balance, coordination, and speed. They will continue to develop the gymnastic skills. sample training plan for a gymnast at this stage would be as follows. Day 1, 3 hours of gymnastics. Day 2, 1 hour of swimming and 1 hour of recreational play. Day 3, 1 hour of soccer and 1 hour of recreational play. Day 4, 3 hours of gymnastics. Day 5, 1 hour of skating. Day 6, 3 hours of gymnastics. And day 7, 1 hour of recreational play. Stage 4. Train to Train. Children in this stage will experience rapid physical growth. They will generally commit to and specialize in one sport. They will also have a regular training plan and have greatly increased their athletic ability. Gymnasts at this stage will specialize specifically in gymnastics. They will focus on skill training 
and flexibility to help with injury prevention after they have experienced growth spurts. They will incorporate trampoline training into their normal gymnastics training. They will continue to develop speed, agility, strength, and endurance, and will also implement ballet into training. A sample training plan for a gymnast at this stage would be as follows. Day one, three and a half hours of gymnast gymnastics. Day two, three and a half hours of gymnastics. Day three, one hour of recreational activity. Day four, three and a half hours of gymnastics. Day five, three and a half hours of gymnastics. Day six, one hour of recreational activity. And day seven, three and a half hours of gymnastics. Stage five, train to compete. Athletes in this stage will participate in year-round high-intensity training competition. They will perform in a variety of competitive situations. They will compete at the national level and are introduced to competing at the international level. Gym gymnasts at this stage will refine their gymnastic skills and routines and perform them with a high standard of quality and competitiveness. They will increase their difficulty with artistry and routines. They will focus on flexibility to help prevent injuries and will incorporate aerobic endurance, speed, and strength training. A sample training plan for a gymnast at this stage would be as follows. Day 1, 4 hours of gymnastics. Day 2, 4 hours of gymnastics. Day 3, 2 hours of ballet. Days 4 and 5, 4 hours of gymnastics. Day 6, 4 hours of gymnastics. And day 7 would be off. Stage 6, train to win. Athletes at this stage will compete at the highest level of their sport. For example, world championships and Olympics. They will follow intense and personalized training plans that allow them to peak for major competitions. Gymnasts at this stage will be in total control of their routines regardless of the competition environment and surroundings. They will be able to maintain their strength, power, flexibility, and endurance. They will be at the highest level of their sport and, would be, and are able to perform skills and routines with an exceptional degree of quality and consistency. A sample training plan for a gymnast at this stage would be as follows. Day 1, 5 hours of gymnastics and 1 hour of strength conditioning. Day 2, 5 hours of gymnastics and 1 hour of ballet. Day 3, 5 hours of gymnastics. Day 5, 2 hours of ballet and 1 hour of strength conditioning. Day 6 would be off and day 7 would be 5 hours of gymnastics and 1 hour of strength training. Nutritional Considerations As a child, the athlete should have a balanced diet and consume foods that are rich in protein and calcium to help with their growth. As the athlete specializes in gymnastics and starts to compete at a higher level, they should begin working with a sports nutritionist or dietitian to formulate meal plans and ensure they are consuming foods that are beneficial to their performance. Anatomy of the athlete. As the athlete gets older and develops as a gymnast, their muscles will become stronger and larger and their ligaments and tendons will become more flexible. Gymnasts are likely to remain shorter than the average height, develop broad shoulders and well-muscled cores, arms, shoulders, and legs. The importance of wellness and balance. Gymnasts should specialize in gymnastics between the ages of 9 and 11. Before specializing in gymnastics, it is important for children to develop fundamental skills and become a well-rounded athlete by participating in multiple sports. Participating in multiple sports at a young age will help gymnasts develop essential skills required in gymnastics and will maintain a sense of balance and interest in their life.